Hello and welcome to this Divine Partnership Coaching video. I'm actually making this video um, to put on my new blog which is called Gratefully Embracing Absurdities and it's going to be um, a stand-in blog until I get the website going for the Divine Partnership Coaching. But I'm going to be doing them together because they kind of fit in together and this video is simply going to be a brief explanation about what Divine Partnership is and why the coaching. And so, I guess to keep it really, really short, I was having a chat with a friend and then a client later about what what love really is. Now, I'll do some other videos about some thoughts on that, but like there, the, the, the two things stuck out is that there are a large majority of people who really treat relationships kind of like just another like status thing. You know, like, oh, well, society says that in order to be considered a successful man or woman, I must be uh, married or at least have somebody that I act like I'm married to and we have a house with a white picket fence and we pay bills and we do adulting. Rah, 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 rah. You know, and, 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 you know, and then there's other people who just relationships are... <sighs> They kind of treat them in a way that that we treat them like we're vampires, you know, like um, we just need to have somebody as a distraction to keep us busy from working on our own BS or, uh, well, I'm horny, so I must need somebody to physically engage with or I'm afraid of being alone, so I need somebody to live with me or you know, like, we really, we use people to, we want them to adore on us, and then don't really want to adore on them, or we want somebody to be our object of affection, that one's been a bigger one for me, is, like, wanting somebody to be my object of affection, where I can pour my flirtation into, and things like that, and a lot of people do that, um, and unfortunately, you know, when we seek for an, any other human being, whether it's a partner or a friend or a parent or a child or, or co-workers, anything that we seek externally to, it's, it's kind of complicated. I'm doing lots of videos to explain all this, but when we, we use other people as sources of validation of our self-worth, there's it's doomed for failure because oftentimes we get locked up in the same people being that source and when they have a human moment or they need to do something else or we have a scuffle with them then we stop giving ourselves permission to feel worthy to feel good to continue to do the things that we do we kind of use other people as um permission give, givers or deniers as to whether or not we can feel good and so I mean in terms of relationships like if you're really enjoying somebody's company and you are more fast-paced and they're more slow-paced and you want to talk right now and they're like busy or they're emotional or they're doing whatever thing and they're not reaching out to you you probably will start to send yourself signals that, oh, well, I, I should stop being so happy. I should stop being so flirtatious. I should um, work on something else about me, or maybe I'm doing something wrong. Like, these, these are pretty similar thought patterns that happen. And likewise, on the other side, for the person that, you know, is more knight of pentacles, they like to take things a little slower. They want to be more sure before they jump into things. Are, they're going to feel pressured, like, oh, man, I, I know I should be moving faster, and, uh, oh man, what if I just can't keep up with this person? They're going at such a pace that maybe it'd be better not to try, you know, or maybe I need to work on myself some more. Like we, you know, we, we go back and forth with these things and we tend to remove the permission we gave ourselves when we thought that we were being adored and we were being validated in being an interesting person. And one, that's not really the truth of the matter. And two, that's how you know, otherwise really great relationships either don't get started in the first place or end very quickly. I mean, you can have two people who are especially compatible, but if they're not enlightened enough and personally responsible for how they feel, um, for giving themselves permission, for being, for feeling, you know, 
for, for knowing how to give themselves permission to feel good and do the things they want to do, whether or not they're in a relationship, whether or not they're getting adoration from somebody or able to give adoration to somebody. Like, if you're not able to do those things and you're still looking for somebody to be the one like you're well I don't want to say like if it's not that looking for them but if you're waiting to give yourself permission to be an awesome amazing irresistible person before you know up until you find the one you could go through all sorts of relationships that could have been fantastic for you and they didn't work out because of that one thing um, or because you got with somebody who wasn't aware of how to do that it can work either way and so divine partnership coaching is about helping us get there and a part of that is learning to embrace the absurd. And one of my favorite ways to do that is to recognize, and you can look through almost any, I want to say spiritual or even religious uh, mythology and see that we are often depicted as being in the image of our creators. And Really, I think that that is an understatement. I think that we are we we are our creators. We are we are the divine. We are the gods and goddesses of old, come down to experience new things in in different lifetimes, and and to forget that we are a part of the entire universe, and then remember and find our divine counterparts and and learn to play with them again in whatever form it is that we have taken on in this lifetime. And for me, divine partnership is, is one, being a healthy individual in the first place. Like, it, in, in order to be available to find your divine feminine or divine masculine or, I'm going to say, divine in between, um, you have to first be ready. You have to get ready to be ready. And in order to do that, you have to work on your self-worth. You have to work on being able to be grateful with what you have before you can have more. And you have to be able to get to a point to where you can, you recognize that two important rules of the universe. One, like attracts like. So if you are self-loathing, you're going to attract partners who are self-loathing. If you are grateful, you're going to attract partners who are grateful. And the other thing is, is that you you cannot have anything that you need until you don't need it anymore. And, I mean, really, that's... I do a lot of videos talking about that. It, it is really a thing, to that you have to be able to embrace the absurd to understand it. Because there's nothing in this world, this reality, that we get when we need it because we hold it out of place. And that includes loving, amazing relationships. And... So my goal, my intent, is to help you, person watching this video, and anyone else who would like assistance in it, getting to a place where you are a healthy, happy, grateful, playful, irresistible, amazing person, all by yourself. And to figure out who you are, and find your truth, and stand in it, and to be authentic, and kind, and fun and just all of the above so that you are ready and available when your partner is ready and available and you will naturally the universe will coalesce to smack you dab into each other and it might have been somebody you might be somebody you already know or it might be a brand new person you really you, you can't know until you take the journey and I know that one from experience so my goal is to provide steps and answers to things you didn't even think to question and tips on how to work on yourself and how to to be the light that you need to be the love that you need to be the cheerleader that you need and want because when you do those things you affect everything else around you everyone else around you and especially your divine partner who I do link up with a lot of the folks that are, are following the Twin Flame and Soulmate journeys. And I want to see more and more people be able to have relationships like that. Whether it's a bunch of crock -of poo or not. I want more and more people to experience magical relationships. Really genuinely loving relationships. Ones that are full of, of intimacy and depth and safety and being vulnerable and magic. I mean, why not? This is a universe where you get what you believe in. 
if you can believe that you can have that kind of relationship, you can. And it's my goal to, one, prove that to you. And two, to enjoy the journey of working with you in cultivating that, in, in, in helping you see the awesome, amazing person you already are. And helping you free up the energy around you, any past traumas, mother, father wounds, things like that, so that you can really become, begin to recognize that you are, you are a divine being learning to play with the universe, learning to allow in your divine partner and showing them how to play too. I really don't know much else that I can say on it other than please, you know, feel free to start checking out my other videos and throw some questions at me. I am more than happy to, uh, I'm going to say freestyle on any sort of questions that anybody has. It's been an interesting and absurdly amazing journey for me already on the path and mine isn't even fully done yet. Please fill me in on yours too. I'm happy to help, and the way that my coaching skills work, I'm, my, my rates is that I do by donation and tribute only, so anybody and everybody that would like to even just chat about this stuff, I'm available. Leave a comment below, send me a message, find the blog, whatever you like. 